Stay savage, stay savage, your boy Shino Bentro is popping. Today we are back with another fact video, and guess who we got today? Today we got the boy Torniri. If you guys are excited about today's video, make sure you hit that like button. But this is about to be lit because this man went ham in the last. Like, if you guys have not seen Naruto the last, I highly recommend you check that out. Like, that was pretty lit. Like, this man in the Tente Gun. Yo, we got some really hella bona fide facts for you guys. If you have any anime recommendations, make sure you leave those in the comment section below. I must stress this. If you leave a comment, I will read it. I might not get to it right away, but I will get to it eventually. So I apologize for the people who have been putting recommendations, and I haven't been able to do them right away. But I would like to say thank you. We're almost at 95k subscribers on YouTube. We're almost at 100k. That's unbelievable to me too. So I apologize for like stuttering, because every time I think about it, I'm just like, yo, is this really happening? But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get it. Whipping all this dope up in the trap house. We fuck all you bitches at the trap house. I can't trust you, I can't get you real address. I can't trust you, I can't get you real address. It don't mean that be like Jerry Stagger. I might fall in love with my trap house. Number eight. His name may derive from Prince Torniri, an imperial prince who lived during the Nara period and served as an editor in the Nihon Shoki, referred to as the second oldest book in classic Japan history. Holy shit, that was kind of a mouthful, so if I butcher it in that, please do not kill me. Number 7. According to the Naruto The Last Director, Toniri was originally based on young Johnny Depp as Edward Scissorhands. It was due to Toniri being unable to understand the feelings of others because he lived alone on the moon since he was young. Oh man, Edward Scissorhands? Alright, so I feel like a lot of you guys in the comment section might not know what Edward Scissorhands is, but if you don't know what it is, don't fret. All that, all that means is like you're really, really young. But the thing is, that guy was like a great ass movie. Like, oh my god, that brings back hella memories. Number six, upon activating the Tensei Gon Chakra mode, Toniri can manifest nine truth seeking balls that float around him in circular formation when inactive. He can use them both offensively and defensively and attacks by infusing them with his own chakra, causing them to glow green. He can rapidly spin to create a massive vortex and combine them into a great golden giant sword made out of chakra that was strong enough to cut the entire moon in half. What the actual fuck? Honestly, Toniri might be on some DBZ type shit. Like, I can see that. Like, this man literally made a fucking spirit sword and then cut the moon in half. Like, hello? Like, this man is really powerful, fam. Number 5. With Hanabi's Byakugan combined with Utsusuki's Chakra, Toniri's eyes matured into the Tente Gun. With these eyes, he can control attractive and repulsive forces that are capable of lifting the rocks of the moon to use them as projectiles and pull the moon itself towards the earth without the energy from its vessel. He also activates the Tensei Gan Chakra mode which grants him enhanced strength and speed as well as durability. Number 4. While born with the Byakugan like the rest of his clan, his eyes were later sealed away with the energy vessel, leaving Toniri blind. Later, Torniri implanted Hanabi's Byakugan into his own eye sockets after capturing her. Thus, he gains near 360 field of x-ray vision and the ability to see vast distances as well as the chakra pathways in the system. After his Tensei Gan reverts back to his Byakugan, Hinata takes Hanabi's eyes leaving him blind again. So this man basically was in the dark all this time and then he was just put right back into the dark. But at the same time, he can't really keep that girl's eyes like Hanabi need her shit back fam. Number 3. Toniri can create a green orb to use for various purposes, such as controlling humans by sending it into their bodies, reading their minds, absorbing chakra from a distance, and detonating it if he needed to. He is also able to project himself in order to deliver messages and can manifest his green spear through the projection. Number 2. Toniri also displayed high skill with Taijutsu, able to fight evenly with Naruto Uzumaki, who had improved in the art immensely since the Fort Shinobi World War. He is able to hold his own against Naruto in his base form as well as his enhanced states. Number 1. Toniri carries hatred towards mankind for weaponizing chakra and plots to destroy humanity as punishment, a goal which he states that the branch family desired for a thousand years. He usually displays a calm and cool demeanor, driven to completing the thousand year plan in order to wipe out the shinobi world. Bro, my dude been plotting for a thousand years. For somebody to be plotting that long, he really had to be like super pissed off. Alright guys, so you know how we get down. This has been 8 facts about the boy Toniri, but just like 8 facts, I gotta give you my opinions. I'm gonna give you guys my personal thoughts and my my personal opinions on the character if you have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions please share those in the comment section below i would love to read those now mind you like i said these are my personal thoughts so however i feel about this guy that's just my feelings not your feelings but let me know how you feel all right so my bed is really messy my bed is probably the junkiest shit you ever seen it's probably like my hair it's probably fucked up 
But overall, this man Toniri literally roamed the moon and they sealed away this man's Byakugan for like a thousand years plus. Like, bro, this man was really gone for a long ass time on top of him not being able to see. Like, dude. How the hell did this man survive? On top of him being able to like maneuver while blind for a really, really long time before acquiring Hanabi's eyes. Like you gotta think about how long this man really went through this shit. Like he was really blind for like a long ass time and he still was able to put his plan in motion on top of him planning on like planning and plotting on the human race for like a thousand years with the original clansmen. Like yo, this man is probably like one of the most fucked up villains I've ever witnessed in my entire life watching anime because this man literally was plotting for like forever and a day like he knew everything he was gonna do he knew how he's gonna execute it he knew how he's gonna get down on top of him kidnapping kidnapping Hanabi bro like how does she not see that coming like bro you didn't like what the hell you got a Byaku guy near 360 vision unless he came in that one little blind spot but <clears throat> he also has like this spear that allows him to control humans he could put it inside their body you know he can read their mind so he kind of knows what you're gonna do before you're gonna do it so he could have easily just slipped that in there and you know it, it could have been a lot of different ways he could have kidnapped her on top of that on top of him being able to like get the Tensei guy from her Byaku guy like him getting like super powerful as fuck I don't really want to spoil the movie too much but like I kind of did in, in terms of the facts so like if you haven't seen it I apologize he just kind of got slayed but overall this man was dope as fuck you know and being able to slice the moon in half being able to like you like push and pull the moon with the Tensei guy like bro this reminds me so much of like the fucking Renegon but like to like another extent like you got to think about it because the Renegon uses the moon to magnify his power and stuff so you could do like infinite Sukuyomi but being able to pull and pull like push and pull the moon you know the Renegon could have possibly done something like that because you know we seen Madara drop meteors and shit like that on top of the Tensei Gon he was doing the exact same thing on top of him having the power to slice the moon in half could he possibly like slice the earth in half or could he put like, even put like a big ass like gaping hole inside of the earth that right there is like one of the most questionable things I've ever witnessed. Like I, I've never seen a villain that was so cool. Like I can't even lie. I really like Toniri. I think he's dope as fuck. Like his his character, his design is really like fleek as fuck. Like people don't say fleek anymore, but I'ma just say it's fleek as fuck. He crispy as hell. My boy is sliding in DMs. Like look at this man. The Tinted Guy himself was like a complete mystery until he came around, and then like it just really just made me open my eyes to it and really just enjoy his character as a whole. So I must honestly say I do like Toniri. I do like his role. I do like his. Back Background from the Utsusuki clan, and then later on, we got Kenshiki and Momoshiki appearing and shit like that. So, like, I feel like the future of Boruto is gonna have a lot to do with the Utsusukis because, like, in like the movies and in the blank periods and shit like that, all the Utsusukis have been popping up and just coming after like Naruto and like Boruto and shit like that. They come and reclaim Chakra and shit like that. They're like really pissed off with the Shinobi world. So, maybe Kawaki might be something like that. I don't know. I, this is just like speculation and just like pure rumor right now so it's kind of a theory i might actually make a video about this but uh I, I won't go into too much detail so let me know what you thought about today's fact video make sure you hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for daily content with that being said my name is Shino Bentro. stay true stay well uh i got tongue tied i hope you guys have a blessed day and until next time see you guys later bye -Z. all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video but this is an outro so basically what i'm going to show you guys today is where you guys can go ahead and check out my anime flex playlist a lot of you guys have been commenting characters that i've already done and you know in order for me to get to you guys and let you guys know that the character is done i'm gonna make this so basically what you need to do is go ahead and type in shino ben trill i like how the second thing that pops up is my intro and then naruto that's kind of funny then you go to click shino ben trill which this is me right here obviously i'm that ugly ass guy on the main page of the channel so you go ahead and click me after you click me then you basically what you do is you can either access it from going here to playlist which you can go that way and you know you can get my playlist right here and it'd be anime facts you should know and then you can go ahead and check out like my general playlist for anime facts you should know so basically on this playlist i have a variety of different like anime put into like a uh, basically a a big ass playlist where you guys can go ahead and check that out so if you guys would like to go see multiple animes and not just one you can go here but if you guys would like to just go ahead and watch like uh, a certain genre of anime anime facts you know you just click Shino Ventura go back to the home page if you scroll down underneath the anime facts which is the general playlist you can see Naruto Shippuden anime facts you got Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Super facts 
scroll down a little bit further you got fairy tale as well as one piece i do plan on extending this where you guys would have more facts and basically see more characters in different animes so if you guys enjoyed today's video you know go ahead and click that like button you go ahead and check out the playlist and right now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to my previous playlist which is the general anime facts you should know and i'm going to just scroll down so you guys can like see the ones that you probably missed so if you guys see anything that you missed you know you can go back to this playlist and you go check it out so until next time bye -Z.